the gospel of sonship and immortality with Pastor John Anasike. Pastor John is called of God to apostle the gospel of sonship and immortality, the latter reign gospel poised to empower the sons of God to live and remain or transform to exit the earth by revelation, bringing the body of Christ to perfection and unlocking the Zoe, the God life in you. I have heard that if you want to receive anything from God, you ought to have faith. But unfortunately, it is not so. You don't have to have faith in order to receive anything from the Lord. Mm. So I said, mm. You know, in over the years when I've read several books and I've listened to many preachers, I have heard that if you want a miracle, you ought to have faith. And if you don't have faith, you're not going to get the miracle. Thank you, sir. Huh? But, but that's not true. The truth is this. You can have faith and not receive a miracle. You can have faith and not be healed. Have faith and you should receive a miracle. I mean, how do you expect somebody who is critically sick to have faith? What faith? <laughs> Faith is not the source of the supernatural. Faith is not the source of miracles. Faith is the guarantee of a miracle, but not the reception of miracles. Faith is the guarantee that the money is in the account but not the withdrawal <laughs> praise the lord so if you say you have faith i believe you have faith I believe you have faith. I, I believe the faith has everything that you ever would need in Christ. But where the difficulty is in the reception. Somebody say reception. Say it again, reception. Reception is where the challenge is. What do I mean by this? The Bible says that God has given to every man the measure of faith. So faith is not the problem. When you got born again, you received faith. But the question is why aren't the miracles coming? I, I don't think it is a, a faith problem. Because everybody has faith when you get born again. The challenge is believe. Your belief puts the faith to action. 
When you believe, you withdraw from the account of faith. So your belief is more or less like your checkbook or your ATM card. So with belief, you withdraw from faith. Faith is the account of all your redemptive rights. Healing is in the faith of Christ. Are you with me? Deliverance is in the finished work of Christ. I've taught you many times that faith is the works of Christ. Is it correct? Yes. Faith is work. The Bible says faith without works is dead. It's dead. So when we speak of faith, we're speaking of our confidence in the finished work of Calvary. So everything that Jesus had done on the cross of Calvary has been credited into our heavenly storeroom. So with your belief, you precisely assess the dividends of that which Christ had accomplished on Calvary. Can I get an, a big amen to that? Now that takes us to the currency that purchases from the fate of Christ. The currency that enables a person to withdraw from the currency or, I mean, from the account of fate. You know, we have heard several times, you don't have enough fate. That's why your miracle is, isn't working. You don't have enough. No, 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 no. Let's be honest here. The Bible says, <clears throat> excuse me, in the book of Romans chapter 5, I think 12 verse 3, that God had dealt to every man the measure of faith. The word dealt, okay, let's see it. We all know it. Romans 12 verse 3. For I said unto you through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God had what? Let's go, one to go. Has what? To every man the measure of faith. So faith is not the problem. You have enough faith for your miracle. In fact, in faith, God had loaded into your spirit all of the miracles that you want of him. Oh, I'm not going to name them to that. So, you see, when the Bible speaks of faith in the New Testament, uh, okay, in the Old Testament, faith could have been the issue. But in the New Testament, the faith of God came into your spirit. Glory to God. Woo, hallelujah. So your miracle is not in heaven. Your deliverance is not with God. Your healing is not in heaven. Your healing isn't coming from heaven. Your miracle, your deliverance, your breakthrough is on the inside of your spirit, locked up in the dimension of faith. Can I hear praise the Lord, sons of God? So through the key, with the key of belief, of your belief, of your belief, of your belief, you unlock the doors of faith to assess specific miracles that are within the content of faith. Is somebody hearing me tonight? Not somebody say, I've got my miracle on the inside of my spirit loaded into my spirit on the account of Christ's faith. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! Anytime I feel like I'm in need of healing, I look on the inside of my spirit and I release my faith into action. Thank you for watching this broadcast. We trust that you've been blessed by the man of God's teaching. 
To get the full message, call us on plus 2721-510-4029 or email us info at spiritrevelationchurch.org. Pastor John at spiritrevelationchurch.org or visit our bookshop at 416 Vortrecker Road, Maitland, Cape Town, South Africa. Follow Pastor John Anna C.K. on Facebook and YouTube for news feeds and updates. Immortality, death, impossible. Divine health, sickness, impossible. Divine protection, destruction, impossible. Divine provision, poverty, impossible. Divine direction, mistakes, impossible. It's time to live and not die. Thank you and God bless you.